All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, if you love Phil Heath videos, you should really enjoy this one. Between 2011 Phil Heath versus 2018 Phil Heath in the ultimate Mr. Olympia comparison. Now, we all know 2011 and 2013 were the best two years for Phil Heath, in my opinion, anyway. But 2018, not so much. Don't get me wrong. He was very conditioned, very ripped, but... He's in the early stages of Palumboism, guys. If you really, really look at his physique, look at the 2011 version, then look at the 2018 version. You'll see how Phil's midsection is the focal point of the physique. And the rest of his physique looks like it's melting. That's Palumboism, guys. And I love when people say, oh, Phil will come back better than ever. Oh, Phil's hernia. If it wasn't for the hernia, Phil would, uh, you know, have a better midsection. Yeah, fucking right. There's no reversing Palumboism. But I digress. Phil was just on way too many drugs, like insulin, a shitload of insulin. But like I said, I digress. So guys, without any further ado, let's just Get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And I tell you, if 2018 had a better midsection, I'd go with 2018 in this pose. He don't look too bad. But that fucking midsection, you see what I'm saying, guys? How it's the focal point of the physique. And then the rest of the physique looks like it's fucking melting. Then look at his quads. His quads are all washed out. And in some poses, his midsection's all washed out. Then you look at 2011 and his midsection is ripped. I mean, 2011, his midsection was the most ripped I've ever seen it. 2013, it was the tightest, but 2011, it was the most ripped. So all in all, 2011 is going to get that point for sure. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular, and this is a perfect example of the Palumboism. Ready, guys? Look at the stomach, how it's the focal point of the physique. Then look at how his chest looks like it's melting. His arms and shoulders look like they're melting. His quads are all washed out. And like I said, the midsection's protruding like crazy and it's the focal point of the physique. So all in all, 2011's gonna get the point. He looks like a total badass. He doesn't look too bad in 2018. But compared to 2011, no comparison. So 2011's gonna get the point. Off to the next pose. And we got the side tricep. And look at this. I tell you guys, there was a few poses that 2018 was a lot better than 2011 was. I mean, look at that tricep. I mean, it's so deeply cut and so thick, especially compared to 2011. And the silhouette don't even look that bad. So 2018 is going to get the point. That tricep is crazy looking. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh. And you see, this is another example of the Palumboism. Look at that fucking midsection. And then the quads all washed out. That's Palumboism, guys. Then you look at 2011, what a better V-taper, tighter midsection, more ripped abs. And then the quads are so much more separated. So all in all, 2011 is going to get the point for the ab and thigh. He just looks so much better. I don't know what happened from 2013 on, but, I mean, 2014 on, but. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep. And this was a tough one. This was a tough one, but 2011 is going to grab the point here because 2011, his arms are a little bit bigger and the silhouette looks a little bit better and his midsection's a lot tighter in this pose. Yeah, his chest is a little bit bigger in 2018, but that's about it. And you got to remember, guys, 2018, the night show, Phil Heath was a lot better than he was in prejudging. So all in all, though, 2011 is definitely going to grab the point. All right, guys, now we got the Christmas tree. And both both years look great, but I don't know. I'm going to go with 2018. Now, guys, the lighting and the tanning oil, it throws me off a little bit because he's a lot darker in 2018 and he's a little more oiled up in 2018. And that could be making the Christmas tree look a little bit better. But, but we got to go with what we got and we're going to go with 2018 because the Christmas tree does look just a little bit better. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot, and this is another example of the Palumboism, okay? Look at his chest. I mean, my God, it looks so bad. His left pec looks like it's deflating. It does. It looks like it's deflating. And his arms and shoulders look fucking weird as well, too. The side sweep to the quads aren't as good as 2011. And in 2011, his side chest is popping more, and the arms and shoulders look better. So all in all, 2011 is definitely going to get the point. 
All right, guys, now we got the rear latch spread. And in 2011, phenomenal rear latch spread. But from 2012 on, his rear latch spread was fucking crazy. As the years went on, it just got better and better and better. Look at how the traps, they start like up where his neck is. And then they finish down where his glutes are. It looks like a piece of fucking armor on his back. I mean, what a difference. Look at how dry he is compared to 2011. So all in all, 2018 is going to grab the point there. I mean, he just looks way better in 2018. I mean, like I said, it looks like a piece of fucking armor on his back. But I digress. All right, guys, now we got the rear double bicep. And 2018 don't look too bad. And this is the last pose of the night, guys. 2018 don't look too bad, but 2011, he's a lot wider, and I just think that the uh, whole silhouette just looks a lot better in 2011. So we're going to go with 2011, guys, and we're going to tally up the points here, and obviously, 2011 won this competition 6-3, to three. 2011, but, you know, there were three poses that 2018 was really good in, especially... The side tricep, my God, the side tricep looked fucking unbelievable, right guys? But anyways, let me know what you think about this drastic transformation of Phil Heath from 2011 to 2018, because he just looked fucking terrible in 2018. And let me know what you guys think about the Palumboism, because he definitely has Palumboism. But I digress. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.